Hey everyone, Matt from Stone Real Estate in the Hunter Valley here to do a market wrap for May. Let's dive straight into it. Our office had a total of 26 sales, totaling $19.6 million worth in transactions. Our average sale price was just over $750,000. Our office has listed in that month 38 new properties coming to market. The highest sale was $1.555 million. It was a beautiful McDonald Jones Bronte home. The lowest sale was $520,000. A very cute cottage in need of full renovation and had some subdivision potential. As for my team, Shelby and I, we sold five properties last month, totaling $3.77 million worth of real estate in transactions. Our average sale price was just over $750,000 as well. We have seven new listings coming to market. Our highest sale was $1.2 million and our lowest sale was $572,000 and a half. Across all of our open homes last month, we met a total of 437 buyers. We held over 68 open homes, which is an average of around six per open home, which really is down from last year. You look at last year, we were average, averaging somewhere around 10 to 15 um, buyers at an open home. Now that around that six is, is certainly what is the, uh, is the norm now, and it's pretty consistent based off last month. But guys, this ties in really well with the last video that we did the month before. This is what we're predicting the market to go back to. This kind of, that 20 to 40 day mark is gonna be crucial in the next kind of six to 12 months, and you'll see See exactly that trend is happening. Average days on market last year in 2021 were somewhere around 10 to 15 days. That's when your best offers were coming in and the best prices were being achieved. Now, average time on market is somewhere between two and two and a half times longer. Good prices are still being achieved. We're having to work two times, or in some cases, three times harder compared to this time last year to sell these same properties. Prices are still getting achieved, but it is a tougher slog now. Talks of rising interest rates are impeding that as well. I've got a really good case study set up on the whiteboard. We're gonna jump straight over into this and have a look because we talk about well-priced property a lot. Spoke about it in the last video, and we're gonna go through a case study right now. So guys, I know we talk about well-priced property a lot, it's so important right now in changing markets. Five Durham Road at East Frankston, a property that has just sold, listed at $620,000 to $680,000. Now keep in mind, when I caught up with Jesse and Morgan, their expectations were somewhere around $600,000, highlighting the importance of speaking with real estate agents. We know the values of properties in our core marketing area. So $600,000 was their expectations when we first met. We made it um, pretty clear to Morgan and Jesse that the property was sitting somewhere in that 620 to 680 mark, which was a very appealing price guide to the marketplace. So we listed at 620 to 680, it sold for $685,000 in less than one week. We had eight offers on the table, 10 people at our first open home, one week on the market. So if you are a seller and you're watching this, this is a textbook sale as to how you should be navigating through this market in these changing times. I'm Matt from Stone Real Estate. Thanks so much for watching. If I can help you too get a great sale result, please reach out and let me know. I was in touch with Morgan and Jesse about four to five months before we listed their property for sales. So there's a lot that goes into that preparation and planning stage. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.